3-0-11-50 or 3-0-2-7-000. Right now, however, it's time once again for the Camdenton Lakers Teacher of the Week, sponsored, as always, by the Smith Law Firm. They handle car accidents, domestic issues, even wills and trusts, traffic tickets, and much more. If you own a business, need some legal help, contact the Smith Law Firm for a consultation. With offices in Camdenton and Lebanon, Gary Smith practices on a regular basis in Camden, Miller, Morgan, Pulaski, and Laclede counties. You can hop online and learn more about the Smith Law Firm at myozarkslawyer.com. And with that, we turn our attention to the Camdenton Lakers Teacher of the Week. It is none other than Mr. Garrett Jackson. He's an art teacher at both, and I stress both, Osage Beach Elementary and also Hurricane Deck Elementary. Garrett, welcome to the KRMS Newsline. Pleasure to have you on the program. This is really cool. So you teach art, but you're also a professional artist. Yes, sir, that is correct. I uh, I teach art, of course, uh, but I also produce my art professionally and sell professionally in a couple galleries. One one here is uh, the local gallery at Osage Beach, Lake Fine Art Academy, and uh, and that's through Paula Brown. She does an excellent job of curating a, a great selection of artwork at that gallery, and I am so blessed to be a part of that. So what kind of art specifically? Uh, really, honestly, I have my own style of painting. Uh, I create in an abstract, realistic kind of uh, uh, of way. I like to do a lot of portrait work, but uh, I really, I'm a muralist at heart. I like to work on uh, big projects and big uh, big paintings, and uh, and some of my bigger ones have been inside of schools, and uh, I really do enjoy working on that format. But I also, you know, really typically kind of have a street art, graffiti feel to my stuff. Um, I kind of like always kind of had that urban feel to uh, whenever I uh, whenever I started creating and uh, that kind of carried on through my art career in college and then kind of carried over to what I do now. Well, that's impressive that you're a teacher, but you also, you know, you also work in the profession that you teach. I don't know that that's entirely common. Now, I understand that this year it's a bit new for you because as we said, going in, you teach at Osage Beach Elementary and Hurricane Deck Elementary. How did that come about? How do you juggle both campuses? Well, I, I mean, it's it's a it's a learning curve that you have to kind of you know just kind of attack every day and uh, just kind of look at it as an opportunity to get up and and, and travel to a different school. But honestly. Uh, you know, you just come in every day and try to make relationships with kids, and uh, that's the biggest thing of being a teacher is you got to be able to develop that rapport with your students. And uh, I'm blessed with the opportunity to get to do that in two different buildings and uh, get to see a, a lot of kids and get to work with a lot of kids. And, and honestly, that's what keeps me motivated. I mean, it is hectic trying to keep lesson plans together and examples going. Uh, but, you know, honestly, it's just it's a it's a labor of love whenever you're an educator and you come to school every day and you see the smiles on the kids faces. And, uh, you know, that's what that's what keeps us going and that's what keeps us doing it. So art teacher Garrett Jackson in the Camdenton School District is our Camdenton Lakers teacher of the week. Talk about the career ladder program, if you would. Uh, the Career Ladder Program is an excellent program the Camden School District actually has, and uh, it allows teachers to actually kind of be compensated a little bit more for those things that we do outside the classroom. If you go by any school at any given time, you'll see cars in the parking lot, and those are teachers inside their classrooms working, putting in the hours. And, uh, you know, our school district is very fortunate enough to be able to have uh, an opportunity to uh, to 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 help our teachers out and uh, give them recognition for what they do outside their contracted hours. And so our career ladder program really is a great thing to have there. And it's kind of geared towards specifically your content area. So being an art teacher, ours is kind of geared towards what we do as artists and, and in our classrooms. And so everybody kind of has their own little niche. And, uh, and, and Camden School District does a great job of uh, allowing us to do that program. Well, you've got a full plate, obviously, a couple different campuses. You're, you're a professional artist, and, <laughs> and this takes another turn. You're also middle school wrestling coach. Yes, sir. Can wrestling be artistic? <laughs> Uh, I think honestly, I mean that's the, that's the place that where we can get the most creative, and I try to try to tell my wrestlers that you know not everybody has to be the same. We all can create on the mat just like we create off the mat, and everybody has their own unique abilities. And so, uh, you know, the middle school wrestling team uh, they do a great job. They show up every day. They work hard, and uh, honestly, they've done an excellent job this year adapting with some of the things we had with COVID nineteen. And uh, you know, we're we're getting ready to travel actually tomorrow to Jefferson City to compete in a tournament and uh, looking to bring home some hardware. we got a good group of athletes, and I'm very fortunate enough to have them on the team this year and get to travel with them and do the things that we do every day. 
Well, based on my experience, you don't often blend art with athletics, but as we were talking off the air before we went live, um, I understand you played some football in high school. Yes, sir, I did. I played, uh, actually, I played in Lebanon High School, and I know that's a big no-no here in, in Camdenton, and uh, it's same there. But, uh, you know, I, I played a little bit there and uh, continued on to Missouri Valley College and played a couple years uh, in, in, at the college level, and then uh, kind of started to pursue my, uh, my, my passion of art. So you've taught in three different school districts, I think you said. Talk about what separates uh, Camdenton, our three school district, from the rest. Well, I've, I've taught in Waynesville School District, Lebanon School District, and Camden School District, and I can tell you that the Camden School District backs their teachers 100%. And they're here for their students, their teachers, and their community, and they listen to the community, and they do whatever they can to make sure that everybody's heard and that everybody is on the same page. I think that we do a great job with transparency in our community, and I think that uh, ultimately, you know, Camden, out of the three that I've been in, I, I love it the best. I'm, I'm proud to be a Laker, and I love wearing purple. And gold. And gold. And gold. <laughs> I just didn't want to get that Lebanon history to get you jaded too much. I'm just... Uh... Well, I kind of took the gold off of that, so that way we could be very specific. It's purple. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. Well, uh, Garrett, from me to you, you've got a very impressive skill set, and I admire that um, I can hear in your voice that you're passionate about everything you do. And in the nine, ten months that my wife and children have been in Lake of the Ozarks, my kids also uh, doing distance learning in the Camdenton schools. Uh, you know, my opinion is that's also what separates the school district from, from others. And um, congratulations to you and uh, keep pushing forward. I think that, uh, you know, I think most would agree that this school year has gone maybe better than some would have expected. And I think people like you are a part of it. Hey, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. Garrett Jackson is the Camdenton Lakers Teacher of the Week. And this is the Ozarks Today on KRMS. KRMS.